Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today we will be working on the Fallout Power Armor build. Enjoy. So here we are with the power armor and some things that need to be done is I'm going to connect uh, this pipe right here, this tube I got from Lowe's, uh, from here to the back. And then also we got to connect the forearms and biceps to the uh, torso area so they like they stay all together. We also got to paint these, make some hands. And um, I also got this polyethylene tubing from Lowe's as well because we could use those for some cool uh, details along the way. So I'm going to start by building the back, which is going to have some mechanics and plumbing. So I'm going to cut off the excess of this hose right here because it's a little too long, but it's the perfect shape for this project. That's about how much I took off. And that looks like a pretty good fit right there. I got the tubes to stay in place by using duct tape and packaging foam, and then I glue the tubes in place, but I'm going to go paint them black. While we're waiting for the tubes to dry, um, I'm going to start building the back. So here's my reference material right here, just a T45 armor, uh, and these two things we're going to build first. Um, and what I have here is this cylindrical piece of cardboard I made by rolling up another piece of cardboard like this and then we're gonna put some domes on them. For the uh, dome-like features, I use these slushy cup covers and they work pretty well because they are dome-shaped. We have this cube right here and it's gonna be that thing right there. We're gonna put a little circular vent on it. I have not attached this whole piece to the back yet because I'm going to edit it and everything. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to paint it so I don't want that extra paint to interfere with the camo on the back. And uh, the last thing I did was make this so you can turn it. Oh, shit. Okay, it turns out we needed a little bit more glue to hold that roll down, so uh, that should fit in there. Actually, I put tape on it so I could paint it, and that smoothness of this roll won't go away. But um, now that that's stronger, and this is pretty much complete i just gotta add some brackets and extra pieces of cardboard that cost like no effort gotta add a bar it goes over right there the, the bar is just a wooden dowel i cut some like inch pieces off with an angle and when i glue them together they're gonna have that kind of look and then i'm gonna extend these parts with some uh, paper towel rolls and you can adjust these paper towel rolls. Now that that's glued on, I added these details right here. It's just like three pieces of cardboard and a dot of hot glue to make that rivet, and it pulls those uh, two things together pretty well. And now, using the excess tube we made uh, this from, I'm going to attach to the bottom, and I'm gonna paint this silver and leave that tape because the duct tape roll is smooth and that can turn. And then I'm going to uh, attach some of this polyethylene tubing right here uh, in multiple wires to lengthen this tube and it's gonna go into these angled sockets I made out of these thick cardboard rolls and they're gonna go right there on the hip so this will be sitting on the back like this and I connect in there and then I'm gonna fix that in place permanently and then add some of this tubing to extend it into this hip socket right here so I'm gonna paint all of these separately and then um, attach them to the suit
also everything's painted and I made this bracket that goes on the back of the helmet that attaches to the black hose. And um, we're gonna take the masking tape off. We're gonna take the masking tape off of this too, put that on the back. And uh, I'm actually really happy with how this paint job turned out. We're going to assemble everything and then um, find out the appropriate placement for these. So here's the helmet with the hoses and the bracket. The tanks on the back are fixed in place as well as the wheel. And now the hoses are mounted in place and plugged in to those sockets I just made. So now that the back is done and we attach the helmet hoses, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is attach the arms. So I have the forearm pieces right here. And what I'm doing is I'm filling in the void using some scrap pieces of cardboard. And also these are creating a right angle so it's stronger in all the corners and it doesn't collapse in on itself. And then I'm gonna fill this all in with more packaging foam. So I actually ended up adding some more pieces of cardboard just to uh, shrink the hole a little bit more. And here we go, I add some more cardboard inside this piece of foam right in there. Now I'm going to use this elastic to assemble the arms and then attach them to the torso. I'm gonna show you the elastic in a second, but to attach the arms to the torso, I got a piece of paracord tied it through one loop and it's gonna go all the way uh, around the shoulders. The paracord's gonna sit right there on the shoulder because that's a very strong piece of cardboard. And then it's going to go through that loop hole right there and on both arms. Here's what everything looks like on the inside. It opened up and everything. And the arms are just two pieces of elastic on each side, loosely fitted, so I can still bend my arm at least at a 45 degree angle. And here's what it looks like when I'm wearing it with all of my current progress. And the more I work on it, the more excited I get to see uh, what the finished result's gonna be with the legs and hands built. And there's the back details. I think those look pretty good as well. The poly tubing ended up being way easier to figure out than I anticipated, and so did attaching the hose around the helmet. So this will conclude part three of my custom cardboard Fallout Power Armor build. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like these builds that I do, like and subscribe for more videos.